Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray and in this video, I am going to be sharing some diva tips and tricks with you. Basically sharing a nice little console guide for diva. Let me just get out my notes because I forgot to bring those up because I am actually watching this video in the background. This is a ranked competitive match that I just played um, as diva to you know get some gameplay but also brush up on my diva skills to make sure that i'm not just telling you a whole bag of shit basically so um yeah let me get to the top so basically the defense matrix is your bread and butter as diva that is basically the your main ability now before the it was patched and diva was buffed uh, defense matrix you could pop it and then it will stay up for a limited amount of time and then it would go away now it's much more useful see back when it was like that that was completely useless <laughs> that was completely useless because as soon as you put it up the person will stop shooting and then wait and then shoot you kind of like um, Genji's deflect basically like that but now you can control your defense matrix um, as as you know as you want, and you can basically wait until your opponent's clip has run out, which I like to do. Wait until your opponent's clip has run out, then bring it down, and then start shooting them in the head. Like that is how you can win loads more gunfights as Diva. This beginning to this stage here was hilarious. Like our team wasn't letting the other team out at all and I, just, I couldn't believe that they wouldn't come out the other end like I was like what are you doing like, this this Genji tries to deflect our bullets but I stop shooting and then we get the kill nice we also went 40 and 6 on this uh, match by the way it was quite a good match I had fun it was very fun um also, you can use your defense matrix strategically to protect teammates like this. I'm protecting Reaper from Lucio's shots, and then I also protect him from Zenyatta's shots so that Reaper can shoot at Lucio, but Lucio cannot shoot at him. Now, that is a great way to win more team fights. I really like that. Um, you can also use your boosters. Basically, when you do use your boosters, um, they should mainly be used to run away from combat or to run into combat. I like to use them to chase down enemy supports. Um, you can also do damage by ramming people. As you can see, um, my mech just blew up. But it's not over. It's not over. Like, it, I'm not done. That Reaper tried to come after me. Now Reaper's dead. It's not like I'm going to run away, hide in the corner and be like, okay, I'm going to die now. When I play as D.Va, even when I am in her non-mech form, I am putting in work. As you can see, I'm jumping around, shooting me. It's much easier to get um, shots off from far away when you're in this uh, form. If you ever, if there's anyone that needs to die who's particularly far away, I would suggest to not uh, get back in your mech ASAP because... Um, oh, I think I die here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think Zenyatta got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah, D when you when you are diva in the mech, you have no long range capability whatsoever. But when you're out of the mech, you can actually, you know, you can actually shoot quite down range, and you can get some nice shots off. Um, your boosters can get you to hard to to high hard to reach places but shooting from long range with diva is a waste of time as i just told you look at me coming to get this lucio love getting rid of the supports <laughs> you gotta get rid of the supports um get the high ground to scope out the battlefield or take out a pesky hanzo or widowmaker those are basically the only reasons you'd want to get high ground like because you can't get high ground and then start shooting at your opponent because like you're gonna do basically no damage like anyone shooting at you is probably gonna do more damage than you're gonna do to them as you can see we were dominating at this point i just i block reapers um ultimate defense matrix i'm telling you defense matrix is one of the best things out there um it's only second to really um reinhardt's barrier i think it's second to reinhardt's barrier but because the defense matrix, if it stayed up as long as Reinhardt's barrier, it would be better because it actually blocks, um, it blocks 
damage, but it also blocks the actual bullets. So if Junkrat is shooting grenades in your direction, you'll actually get rid of those grenades like they never existed. That's what I love about the defense matrix. Um, when you're using Reinhardt's shield, um, I think, yeah, Junkrat's grenades would blow up on Reinhardt's shield, but it could still go over and whatnot. I don't think you can go over D.Va's defense matrix. As long as you're shooting in front of her, it's pretty much done for. As you can see, I think I'm by myself. No, we got a Reaper over there, but he's he's not he's not doing the best. Do we get this Reaper in the end? I think we do. No, I get my mech back. Because I don't want to fight Reaper one-on-one -on -one with just my pistols. Because Reaper... You want to stay away from Reaper, rarely. You can win a fight with him, but you don't really want to be in fights with Reaper. Um... Also, you can use self-destruct in tense situations like that. Um, I, I generally wouldn't use it in a situation like that because there was only really one person next to you. But if you've got low um, health and you've got your self-destruct left, I would suggest using it because what that does is it allows you to just blow up your mech so you can get another one immediately. And then you can start building up your ultimate again. And I like to do that because it keeps me in the game, keeps me putting damage down range and keeps me protecting my teammates. By the way, stay away from Zarya. Zarya is no good. <laughs> when you're playing D.Va, you do not want to fight Zarya at all. Like, she is the worst. She will just beam through your defense matrix real easy and she will get rid of you like nobody's business so if the enemy team's got a diva that's giving you loads of trouble then um generally you want to bring out azaria azaria can deal with her pretty nicely and constantly shoot at reinhardt's shield i i definitely do that all the time because you have unlimited ammo like you never have to reload whatsoever so if there's a reinhardt shield in front of you um there's really no reason not to shoot at it you might as well get the health down as much as you can uh better yeah if you can do it at angle so people can't actually shoot you like if you just see a little bit of reinhardt's uh, shield coming around the corner just keep shooting into it because he's going to have to put it down or move to readjust his position and go somewhere else and try something else out or his shield is going to go down. Do we? Yeah, we get our mech back. See, look, look at how long um, I've been alive with D.Va. Her survivability is quite good. It's quite good. I think I'll get play of the game here. Yeah, 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 I do. That was beautiful. Um, her survivability is so good because obviously you need to kill the mech and then you need to kill her and she basically has two lives kind of like the last stand from call of duty modern warfare um so when you get shot like get destroyed you can just come back out and keep shooting people uh, generally you want to keep doing damage so you can build up your ability to get your mech back uh, th do we get murdered here yeah <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you want to do you want to do damage. You want to stay far away and just let the damage go down range. That's what I like to do. I like to just jump and shoot. I don't even like really care where it's shooting. I'm just jumping and shooting to make sure that someone's getting shot somewhere. And doing that, you'll likely get enough charge within about 30 seconds or a minute, depending if you're hitting people or not to be able to get your um, mech back and be able to get back into the fight. Oh yeah, her survivability is also very high when you stay close to a healer. I always suggest that you stay next to a healer um, when you're D.Va. Generally, you want to do that when you're any tank character because like, when they're around the healer, their survivability just goes up so much more and it's so hard to take them out and you definitely want to be someone that's hard to take out. Oh yeah, nah, Reinhardt caught me there. <laughs> I thought I was out of range, but no. I was not out of range whatsoever. But yeah, I think those are my tips. I, I guess we can continue watching the, um, the match because it does go on for a little bit longer and we do get to play the other um, side. And I, I think this was a really, really good game. I think there's some good gameplay there. So I don't want to just end the video here and just be like, you know, ha that's the day. So, yeah, I think I didn't get a kill there. No, I did not. And that was a waste of my ultimate. 
Um, as you can see, Reaper is trying to get rid of me. So I tried to run away. I tried to get out of there because I'm fighting Reaper and Lucio as far as I know. And that's a fight that I, I'm probably not going to win um, with my low maneuverability as D.Va. So I get out of there. Um, but my mech is destroyed anyways. Um, I think this was a bad decision because Reaper comes for me. I should have went and got health. But because it was... You know, it was like the end of the match, I felt. So I wanted to stay there and keep putting the damage down range to stop them from moving forward. Um, but no, that was not the best decision. Just like earlier on when it seemed like they were just going to lose. So I kind of went in with like all my, all, my, <laughs> all my skills and whatnot. And like just really tried to get rid of them. But that didn't really work out either. Because I was rushing. You gotta you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful as Diva. You gotta play strategically. As you can see, we're just keeping the Reaper away. I don't even go in there to try and shoot at him because there's no point. Like they need to be on the point. And we stop junk crap from, you know, shooting round here. I'm telling you, Defense Matrix is amazing. It is definitely amazing. Like it's one of the best things in the game. So here we are on attack now. So right about now, I just I want to block everything that's coming in because I don't want Reinhardt's shield to take too much damage. I get rid of the Farah off the top of the building. Um, I almost died there. I didn't know it was that wild round there. I didn't know they had turrets and whatnot. But Zenyatta saves me. He gives me the the orb of um, the orb of harmony, and I stay back. I shoot up some people. And Reinhardt gets me here. I think, does he kill me? No, I get him. Um, I love when Reinhardt pings me and I jump out and shoot him in his head. I love when that happens. Because that must be so annoying as a Reinhardt player. You pin Diva, she jumps out and then she kills you. Like You must be so annoyed. And as I said, the survivability of Diva is, man, like, just because you killed her mech doesn't mean you killed her. Like Just because you got rid of her for the time being doesn't really mean that you're out of you're out of the woods yet so as you can see i'm trying to just put some damage into reinhardt's shield i put enough damage into it to get my um mech back he does get me at the end though he does fling his flame strike into me and luckily that didn't pin me i think maybe because i was already on the ground it didn't work but we get the reinhardt we kill him and now the other team has no Reinhardt, so they got no protection against us. And we have our Reinhardt. Like Reinhardt is such, such an important integral piece of the team composition. Um, when you're playing like payload maps and stuff like that, Reinhardt is really, really, really useful for pushing objectives forward and holding points. So when you get rid of a Reinhardt, it's, it's not very good. As you can see, I was looking for health. But Zenyatta just spawned and he, he kindly gave me some help, so I say thanks to him. And like my ultimate is almost charged. We stop um, Farah's bullets from going anywhere. We get rid of her, take her out of the game. Reinhardt is back already. Maybe they had a teleporter. No, no, uh, they had. He had more than enough time to get back to the thing. So we're just pushing the payload forward because that's what we really need to do. As you can see, I'm shooting Reinhardt's shield from a bit of cover because no one could really shoot me from there because there was no one with Reinhardt. So I was just laying into his shield so it would go down eventually. I look around the corner to see what's going on and I use my defense matrix to stop myself from taking any damage. I know Reaper's behind me. I, I think about going after him, um, but then I don't see him and I figure out that he's actually over here. And I try to get rid of him, but Reaper, he's got his Ray form back already. And he doesn't get the health, so I get it instead. But his shotgun blasts are mad! They are not joking! His shotgun blasts do not joke. Look at my health. Look at my health. It's not happy days. And yeah, because I got low, um, low energy, I just fucking... I use my self-destruct real quick so I can uh, get my... Um, mech right back but also I do want to put some damage down range because I was trying to get rid of the junk crap from far away he traps me and then he wastes his time shooting at me when um, I'm, I'm I've evidently got my defense matrix up Senyata pops his ultimate which is great for me because that keeps me alive a couple seconds longer which allows me to I think I kill do I kill no 
No, 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 no. I remember that. Yeah, Reaper came out of nowhere. He was planning. Look at him. Look at him plotting. He saw me shooting around. He was like, ah, we're going to get him. We're going to get them. And he got us. That was a nice ultimate for Reaper. I wasn't really watching my flank. Um, I didn't really expect that whatsoever. So he got us unaware. And I see Zenyatta going up there, but I'm unsure why, to be honest. Because um, I, I don't think there's anything that way. Um, as you can see, I'm not trickling in. I'm trying to wait for my team. Because I don't want to go up there by myself and just get murdered and then have to, you know, repeat this process again and again. So we're trying to group up. I hear Reinhardt say he wants to group up, but I don't actually know where he is. Um, I think he's moving forward. I see this Hanzo, so I'm like, okay, this is my job. I've got to get rid of Hanzo. I knock him down and I think he's dealt with. But he's not! Look at him! He came straight back up! He came straight back up! I knocked him down and he was like, what? You knocking me down? <laughs> What's that? That ain't nothing. He comes straight back up to fight again. I'm just shooting. I see the Reaper. I'm like, okay, all right. All right, Reaps. All right, Reaps. You really thought it was going to work out like that. I get my mech because we're going to kill Reaper. I'm like, not today, Reaper. Not today. As you can see, Defense Matrix is, you know, a big part of what I do. I like to move forward, um, boost forward into my opponent and use the Defense Matrix because you, you hurt them with the boost forward into them, which gives you, you know, some damage and whatnot. Plus, they can't actually shoot at you. So I try to go after this Hanzo, but he runs away and I decide that it's not worth it. I decide I might as well stay with the payload and actually move this forward and get the win. So um, we, we go back to the payload. I've got my ultimate. So at any time, I can just pop this off. I think I'll pop it off right there because we're almost at the point where we need to be. And then Hanzo tries to use his ultimate. It doesn't work out. I shoot him in his head. And I think that is the game, yeah. There we are, that is the victory. I think that, that was a really fun match. It was a great match. I had the time of my life. Um, I also done pretty well. <laughs> I was happy to do so well. Um, and I hope this video helped you out. I hope I showed you a fair few tips to help you play with Diva a bit better on the consoles. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Also, be sure to subscribe as I'll be putting out loads more Overwatch videos. I did get play of the game. Shout out to me. Um, and yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you want to see. If you want to see, um, you know, other hero guides for other heroes, let me know who you want next. And I'll be sure to try and do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you